providing aid to anybody is difficult because you have to provide the full range of things that they look for. Here, the problem is we don't have the big camps. The, the nature of the settlements in this place, they're scattered across a wide range of areas. So you're not going to have the big camp settings that you have in places like in Africa, for example. So it's a different type of delivery system. It'll be more that people sometimes will come for the materials and carry it back themselves rather than us delivering to door to door. And that's just the nature of it. We're going to have to use Sherpas, other means to get to individual hamlets, individual villages, uh, which are not able to have landing strips but to put helicopters down there, or the roads are washed away, or the roads are destroyed. Yeah, one of the things we'll face in any crisis of this kind, because of the logistical part of, it, part of this and because of the needs and because of the winter that's a need for speed, uh, one of the things will be a resource constraint. So we put an appeal out last week for 454 million and it's important that the international community comes into that very quickly and very heavy, especially in the key sectors because we're running against the clock. Logistics, shelter and foodstuffs, and me medical emergency, health, and water and sanitation all have to be delivered very high up into these areas. It's a very expensive operation but we don't have any choice, it's the only way we can get this done.